So Ezra is a very complicated book. It's complicated theologically and ethically. It tells about the return to Jerusalem from the Babylonian Empire. The king of Persia, Cyrus, conquers the Babylonian Empire and tells all of the people who were from Jerusalem that they can go back and rebuild their temple. And this is this great, profound joy from these people have that they get to go back to Jerusalem. And it's so profound that the only way that Ezra knows how to talk about this is to say that God moved Cyrus's heart. Um, and you can't miss the allusion to the Exodus story because if you remember in the Exodus story, God tries to soften Pharaoh's heart, but can't. For some reason, Pharaoh's heart gets hardened again and again and again. But here you have kind of the anti-Pharaoh story. Whereas Pharaoh creates victims, and the Assyrians create victims, and the Babylonians create victims, here you have something different happening. And Cyrus is able to work with God, and God is able to work through Cyrus in order to stand with those victims of history and invite them to go back to their homeland. And this is, this is what's fascinating about the first chapter of Ezra, uh, is that that God works outside of uh, the religious community in order to bring hope, in order to bring hope for the victims of world history. This is what God does. But throughout the rest of Ezra, you have this inclination to go back to making victims, where you gain some power, people who have political power, even people who have political power who worship God can end up making victims and projecting those their reasons for making victims upon God. So when they return, they encounter a group who say that they worship God in many of the same ways that uh, the, the, the return, people who are returning worship God, and they want to help them rebuild the temple. Well, the people who return end up saying, you don't worship the same God we do. We're different. And so you can't help us rebuild the temple because it'll contaminate the temple. Well, here you have this exclusion. And so you end up making victims. And the Bible is very honest. The people who write the Bible are very honest about the ways in which they do this. Um, and so that's, that's one of the things that's complicated. The other thing that's complicated is at the end of Ezra, you have this horrific experience where people have, um, have intermarried. And this is also seen as a contamination. And so the leaders of Jerusalem during this time fear that this intermarriage is going to contaminate the community. And so what must be done, and they even say that God says this must be done, uh, you must divorce your wives and send them away. Not just your wives, but also your children that you've had with those wives. You must do this. And the way that it, Ezra explains this is that it was... It, it was a dreary, rainy, dark day. And so there's, there's so much pain that's going on here that, that the weather <laughs> is even affected by it. This is a painful day. Um, and yet it, it tries to say that this is, this is the will of God. But I think that there's an internal critique that's going on within Ezra because in the beginning, remember, you have Cyrus who stands with the victims, doesn't want to create victims, but stands with them and invites them to return. Well, here you have this, uh, these other leaders who make victims and doesn't invite people to return, but forces people to be excluded from the community. And I think this is the internal critique uh, that the Bible gives of itself. Uh, it says that the reason that they, they wanted them to divorce these women was because they were seen as foreigners and God can't work through foreigners and yet in the beginning of the book God works through a foreigner and so I think this this is the tension that the Bible is forcing us to live with it, and I think that it tries to resolve that tension if it can resolve that tension by pointing to somebody who even exists outside of the religious community and says this is the ideal so those are my thoughts on this extremely complicated book, and I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks.